topic right now. The solar eclipse, which will be visible to everyone in the U.S. next week, but we are not in the path of totality, by the way. It's generating a lot of conversations. The eclipse will stop the energy the sun creates, impacting solar power. News 4's Ali Ingersoll brings us this story from Amherst. Everyone is talking about the solar eclipse, which will be happening in less than a week now. And when the moon covers the sun, that means that energy is going to be cut off from these solar panels. If you're blocking out part of the sun, you're going to decrease solar energy. The eclipse itself is supposed to last a few hours as the moon and sun cross paths. It's a rare occurrence, only happening a few times each year. At the start, you start getting a little bit less energy. And then at the maximum for those of us in western New York, it'll be about 75% covered. And then after that, it'll decrease um, coverage of the sun until the entire eclipse is done. It's going to produce all morning and all afternoon if it's a, if it's a nice sunny day like, like any other nice day. And um, it'll just have that slight interruption. The last time Western New York experienced an eclipse like this, solar panels seemed so futuristic. Now planning is taking place to make up for the loss in energy that will occur during the time of the eclipse. They're prepared to get um, energy from other places. Here's how solar panels work. The light absorbed by these panels is converted into current energy and switched over to alternating currents powering homes and communities. Only about 1% of western New York's grid is powered by the sun, so the eclipse shouldn't impact too many people for too long. It won't really affect us too much, be more like a, a storm or a cloud rolling over. They might need to either decrease the amount of energy they're using during that time or um, get energy from batteries. A couple minutes of uh, a little reduced uh, production, but nothing serious, nothing really overly measurable, really, on the, on the grand scale of things. So when this eclipse moves through, Buffalo will be experiencing about a 70% eclipse at that time. In the year 2024, though, we'll be right in the heart of where a total eclipse will be happening. Reporting from Amherst, Ellie Ingersoll, News 4.